Greetings gamers, I'm Eurogamers YouTube editor Ian Higton and wow, what an odd world we live in. For those of you not aware of the current situation, ginger bearded comedian and seasoned stoner Seth Rogen has royally ticked off the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, aka North Korea. His upcoming film, The Interview, which co-stars James Franco, sees the pair bromancing their way into North Korea, playing the only US journalists given permission to interview the supreme leader of North Korea, Kim Jong-un. Unfortunately for all involved though, the CIA decide they are in the perfect position to stage an assassination attempt and set about recruiting the bumbling idiots to do their dirty work. Obviously North Korea is a little bit fanatical about its glorious baby-faced leader and since the launch of the trailer for the interview, an unidentified spokesman for North Korea's foreign ministry stated that if the US government doesn't block the release of the movie, it would be considered an act of war. And now all week North Korea have been test firing missiles in a possible show of force. <laughs> <laughs> no, Seth Rogen, there is nothing funny about being this century's Archduke Franz Ferdinand. Bloody potheads. Anyway, it probably won't happen, but if for some insane reason this film did kickstart World War 3, here are four games that you could play to take your mind off North Korea invading America. You want to go kill Kim Jong Un? Totally. I'd love to assassinate Kim Jong Un. It's a date. Nuclear devices come in all shapes and sizes, just like the lunatics who use them. Anyone who tells you that the threat of thermonuclear war is over is a fool, an enemy, or both. Nuclear Strike is the fifth instalment of the Strike series and was published on the PC, N64 and the PlayStation. Chock full of cheesy FMV cutscenes, the action starts off in Indocene, a fictional Southeast Asian country, but you and your chopper soon end up in the North Korean capital of Pyongyang, chasing down a missing nuclear weapon before it goes boom. We should hope for the best and prepare for the worst, Commander. Jeebus, what does she think she's in? The Matrix? Pfft. Too much shooting of buildings, much winching of civilians, and the occasional trip to the wrong NATO Mayday Stadium to defile the country's flag. Get to the war museum. Set me down and I'll prep the Cobra. Nice one, America. Still, at least the game ends with a kiss rather than an explosion. Oh. <laughs> A spec warrior. One who gives a fuck. That's me. Whether I'm prowling and growling or going full fucking Faulkner with lots of sound and fury, you count on this. I get the job done. Today, that means flying under the radar, even in North Korea. Okay, so chances are a global nuclear war is going to annoy quite a few people. So there really is no better game to play to learn some choice insults than Rogue Warrior, the disastrous, bug-filled first-person shooter from Rebellion. Hollywood actor Mickey Rourke lent his gravelly voice to the game's protagonist and in doing so had to utter some of the most ridiculous and sweary insults ever committed to a video game. Cover your ears for the next 15 seconds if you're easily offended. Drop dead, motherfucker, you fucking amateurs. Man, I might as well have a bullseye on my ass. Goddamn cock breath coming, motherfuckers! Suck my balls, my hairy fucking big balls. Wrap them around your fucking mouth. Fondle my hairy nuts. For all its gameplay faults, though, Rogue Warrior can almost be forgiven, if only for having one of the best end credit sequences ever. It's a Mickey Rourke rap! Ah. You morons will love this. Hope you assholes like fireworks. Ooh! Fucking Tommy keep getting in my way. No surprise, motherfuckers. Happy fucking birthday. That's right, Natty. Now you sweet piece of shit. Enjoy the ride, cocksucker. Have a nice trip. Reports from Pyongyang indicate North Korean military forces have staged a violent coup. 
So Total War has been declared. The poop has hit the spinny thing and you've been called up to fight on the front line for the invasion of North Korea. Quick! Get some practice in with Mercenaries Playground of Destruction. This third person sandbox game allows you to level whole buildings around North Korea using mortars and airstrikes. And you'll also learn a load about the ranking system of their military as you hunt down high value targets from their special card pack, the Deck of 52. Yeah, I like my job. Hmm, all these games have been about attacking North Korea, which is probably good for morale, but what happens if they win and Kim Jong-un becomes our supreme overlord, or whatever they call him? Well, fear not, there will still be video games, just not very good ones. This is Pyongyang Racer, created in 2012 by some North Korean university students and published by Koryo Tours, a travel company which specialises in visits to North Korea. Less of a racer and more of an awful interactive tour of the nation's capital, be prepared for bad graphics, bad handling and, as you drive past the numerous female traffic police, incredible bad manners. Oh shoot! Shaky lady. Still, you'll be able to learn about your new capital city's famous landmarks and you'll be able to get down and funky to their national music. See? Every cloud and all that. Thanks for watching comrades, if you enjoyed this video please do give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more daily gaming videos. Right, I'm off to build a bomb shelter in my back garden. Have a great day everyone and uh, remember to smile.